Hi subscribers. Welcome to the Crunchy Food channel. Today, we are going to see the top 10 mistakes to avoid while preparing mutton biryani. Also, I will be explaining the right way to cook biryani for 10 people. After every mistake, I will be explaining the right way and the right quantity of ingredients required to cook a flawless mutton biryani. We have already uploaded a video on the right way of cooking biryani. So, you can either watch that video directly or go through this video to know the mistakes to avoid and then watch our biryani making video for better use. Also, we have provided the link for our biryani making video in the description as well. Let's jump into this video now. The first and most important mistake is the quantity and the way we cook the meat. If we don't buy and cook the mutton in the right way, the mutton will either be overcooked or not cooked properly. As I said before, for 10 people, buy 1 kg of mutton which is more than enough. Then cook the mutton in a pressure cooker and stop cooking it if you got the one vessel to ensure that it is tender and flavorful. Second basic mistake is selecting the wrong type of rice. Basmati rice is the preferred rice for making biryani as it cooks evenly and has a delicate, fragrant flavor. You can choose any type or brand of basmati rice for better results. Take 1 kg of rice for 10 people with 1 kg of mutton. Third basic mistake is not sorting the onions and tomato properly. The onions and tomato should be sorted until they are golden brown, which adds depth and sweetness to the dish. Take 6 to 7 onions and 4 to 5 tomatoes to cook for 10 people. Fourth and important mistake to be avoided is not using enough spices. Biryani is a flavorful dish and it should be spiced accordingly. Use a good balance of spices such as biryani leaf, star anise, cardamom, lavang, green chili, 7 to 9, 3 spoon of biryani masala, 1 spoon of red chili powder, mint and coriander, turmeric, 125 grams of ginger and garlic paste, and 125 grams of curd. Fifth mistake to be avoided is not using enough ghee and oil. Ghee or oil is important for adding richness and flavor to the dish. So take 125 grams of ghee and 200 g of oil. Sixth and most of the people make a mistake is using too much water. The rice should be cooked in just enough water to cover it, otherwise it will become mushy. Normally, for one cup of rice take two cups of water. Seventh mistake is none other than cooking the dish at too high a temperature. Biryani should be cooked on a low heat to ensure that the meat is cooked slowly and evenly and the rice doesn't burn. Once you have cooked the mutton and added it to the rice and poured the water, cook the ingredients for 5 minutes, then reduce the flame and put a 3 kg weight to ensure it is cooked slowly and evenly. Eighth mistake to be avoided is not layering the ingredients properly. The ingredients should be layered properly, with the meat and rice alternating, to ensure that the flavors are evenly distributed. Ninth and most common mistake is not resting the dish before serving. Allow the biryani to rest for at least 10 minutes before serving to allow the flavors to melt together. Tenth and the last mistake to avoid is overcrowding the pot. When making a large quantity of biryani, make sure to use a big enough pot or container to avoid overcrowding, as this can cause the rice to cook unevenly and the meat to become tough. 